Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video we're going to be updating some uh, DNS and DHCP records. We're going to be doing that on our NetServe Network Services server, and the reason we're doing that is because uh, I have my uh, virtual server infrastructure with uh, my admin, my, uh, well, I'll talk about that in a second, uh, authentication server, uh, database server, uh, file server, mail server, net uh, network services, and a web server there. So uh, what admin is going to do is we're going to set this up so that this is going to be the administration for all the other machines, meaning that I don't have to have all these windows open and running, and also meaning that uh, you know, you'll know you be able to connect to your servers and manage them remotely. So that's what this admin virtual machine is going to be all about. Okay, And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, on the network services, I'm going to change and uh, edit some of these records here, uh, some of the config files, to uh, so it can handle the new virtual machine that we have here, admin, because this is going to be my administration machine. So first thing we're going to do is DNS. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, let's do DH DHCP first. Okay, so let's get into that and uh, change those records. So we need to go vi etc dhcp slash dhcp d.conf. Okay, and all we're going to do here is we're just going to add a record so it gets a static IP address. So we're just going to insert and we're going to uh, just follow along uh, with what the previous ones are. So it's going to be host. Uh, admin is the host name. So when I installed it, I already did uh, uh, like uh, file serve dot local net right there, auth serve dot local net. Well, this is going to be admin dot local net. Okay. So uh, we'll just continue through this option host name and auth admin dot local net. Right. And hardware ethernet and that is going to be right here let's just do an ifconfig and you'll see there what we're going to do we're going to change so it, uh, this is a dynamic IP address uh, it is working DHCP right now but we want it to just have an address that we always know so then we can map it with DNS as well so let's just remember that address and we're going to put that in right here so it's going to be 52 54 0 up 0 0 and 3b C E and last one six C. Alright. And for the fixed address, I'm just gonna say one seventy two twenty zero forty. Just increment it by five each one. Okay, good to go there. Let's just WQ out of that. Now let's restart the DHCP server so these changes are uh, have taken effect. So we're gonna say service. DHCPD restart. Good to go right there. And next we're going to go and do the DNS updates. So we're going to go VI. And it's not an Etsy, it's in var. Name D. And first one is going to be localnet.zone. Right, that's a zone file for the whole uh, local net network that I'm using. And all we're going to do here is going to just add a line after this auth serve here. And we're just going to say admin. And let's space over, probably could have tabbed in. It's an A record, and it's going to be 172.20.0.40. Okay, so that uh, the DHCP uh, mapping that we just did, it's going to map here too. That's the whole point of this. Okay, that's all we got to do for that. Let's WQ out of that. Let's do the reverse uh, zone. So that should be just the uh, network address backwards, which is 170, you know, 0.20.172. Let's do that. And real easy with this one as well. All we're going to do is just put 40 in. And this is a pointer record just because it points to the uh, the actual host name. And then we're going to say admin.localnet. Okay. And, uh, you know, if you're adding some different servers on your machine or something like that, you know, you'll, you'll be doing this. Uh, you know, when you usually set up with an infrastructure or something like that, you don't always do it all at the same time. So, uh, you know, it's updating these files is uh, useful for that too. Or, you know, you can remove these things as well. If like one of your servers goes out of production and you want to kind of reclaim that space, uh, you know, you'd be doing this just in the opposite direction there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is let's just go service, reload, just uh, to do a little different, but we need to specify what we're going to reload, name D and we're okay with that. Now let's uh, go back over here 
Well, let's just double check that everything that we did is correct. So 172.20.016 uh, is what the thing was before. Uh, for the GUI, you don't have to restart the network. You can just go here and just click it again and see how it's going to redo it. It's going to redo it, and we'll uh, see if we have that 172.20.0.40 address. And if we do, we're good to go. And we're good to go. Let's ping netserve just to make sure. And we're good right there. And let's just uh, ping from the net server, and then we'll be done. I'm going to say ping admin. And we're good there. Okay. So uh, DHCP and DNS, we changed those records. So we're pointing to our new machine right there. And uh, that's all I had for this video. So stay tuned for future videos.